I'm Logan Alec, this is the Money Done Right Show, and today I'm going to share with you my seven top picks for balance transfer cards in 2020. But before I get into my list, I wanna make sure we're all on the same page here when it comes to the basics, because I know some of this stuff about balance transfer cards can be confusing. So, what is a balance transfer card? A balance transfer card is a card that gives you the opportunity to transfer a balance from another credit card to the balance transfer card, and it won't be charged any interest on the card for a certain period of time, typically between 12 and 21 months. This introductory APR is also good on purchases made on the card in addition to the balance transfers. Of course, the credit card company has to make money somehow, and you will be charged a balance transfer fee of typically 3%, though some cards charge more. Note that this fee only applies to balance transfers. Purchases made on a balance transfer card are not subject to this fee. So why would you want to do this? Why would you want to open a balance transfer card? Well, the most common situation in which a balance transfer card makes sense is when you're paying a lot of interest on another credit card. Let's say you have $20,000 in credit card debt at 18% annualized interest and you're only making the minimum payments. You will be accruing about $3,600 of interest per year. You can save this $3,600 per year if you were, somehow, able to get an interest-free loan of $20,000 and pay off that high interest credit card debt. Well, with a balance transfer credit card, that's essentially what you're able to do. You're able to transfer your balance on your high interest credit card to a balance transfer card that charges you no interest on the balance for a certain period of time. Yes, you will have to pay a fee, as I mentioned previously, typically 3%, but 3% is a lot less than 18%. So if you transfer $20,000 in credit card debt, you would pay a balance transfer fee of $600. Sounds like a lot, but which would you rather pay? $3,600 in interest or $600 in balance transfer fees? Of course, the trick is for you to actually pay off the balance at the end of the introductory APR period. If you don't, you're going to be in a world of interest. I would actually recommend that you get written confirmation from your credit card issuer of exactly what date you need to pay off your balance by in order to avoid all finance and interest charges. Also, please note that during the introductory APR period, you will still have to make minimum payments on your credit cards. Failing to do so may cause you to incur late fees and, more importantly, cause you to lose the introductory APR rate and subject your transferred balance and purchases to the card's normal APR. And look, even if you don't have any high interest credit card debt, a balance transfer card can still make you money. Think about it. The S&P 500 was up 29% in 2019. Imagine if you were able to charge all your living expenses to a balance transfer card with a 0% introductory APR for 12, 15, 18, 21 months, and you were able to instead invest that money into the stock market. Of course, this is a risky strategy and not one you should undertake if you don't have adequate cash reserves to cover the balance on your balance transfer card in case the market drops when the introductory APR period ends. If you don't want to take a risk like that, I don't blame you. You can simply place the money that you would have applied toward paying off your monthly balance into a high yield savings account and earn upwards of 2% on your money. Then, when the balance transfer period is over, you can pay off the balance on the card with the money in the savings account and you will have earned a bit of interest. Okay, now to my list of the seven best balance transfer cards for 2020. Of course, as with most things in personal finance, when discussing balance transfer credit cards, it's almost impossible to state unequivocally which one is the best because different people value different things. Some people will care more about how long that introductory APR period is, while others will be more concerned with the additional perks or cash back percentages on the card. The balance transfer card that's best for me may not be the balance transfer card that's best for you. But all is not lost, I did some research into the balance transfer cards on the market today and came up with seven different awards for balance transfer cards. Hopefully one of these award categories I came up with will resonate with you so you can find the perfect balance transfer card for your situation. Also, if you're interested in any of these cards, I would really appreciate it if you click its corresponding link in the description below to learn how to apply. If you do this, I will get a commission if you are approved for the card. It's no cost to you, but it helps me to be able to continue creating content like this. All right, 
first card, the City Simplicity card, which offers the longest 0% introductory APR period of any card on my list. I wanted to talk about this card first because for many of you out there, the best balance transfer card is the one that has the longest 0% APR period, and using the standard, the City Simplicity card takes the cake, offering an introductory APR of 0% on balance transfers for 21 months, though it's only 12 months for purchases. There's no annual fee, so what's the catch? Well, balance transfers on the City Simplicity are subject to a 5% fee rather than the commonplace 3% fee found on the other cards on my list, and all balance transfers must be made within the first four months of account opening. Also, the City Simplicity doesn't give you rewards like the other cards on this list, not even 1% cash back, but it also doesn't charge late fees. And in certain situations, this may make more sense than getting a card that offers cash back or travel points. So if your concern is getting the maximum introductory APR period on balance transfers, or if you're late with the payment every once in a while, the City Simplicity card might be the card for you. However, the extended introductory APR period must be weighed against the 5% balance transfer fee, keeping in mind that the other cards on this list only charge a 3% fee. Number two, the City Double Cash, which is best for all around rewards. The City Double Cash currently offers an introductory APR of 0% on both purchases and balance transfers for 18 months, which is surpassed by only the City Simplicity card. The City Double Cash does not charge an annual fee, and its balance transfer fee is the more typical 3% rather than the Simplicity's 5%. That's pretty good, right? Well, it gets even better because where the City Double Cash really shines is in its simple but powerful rewards program. With this card, you'll earn 2% cash back on everything. You get 1% cash back when you swipe and an additional 1% when you make a payment. City recently allowed cardholders to convert their rewards balance into City Thank You Points, which could increase your rewards percentage depending on which travel partners you transfer those points to. So, while other cards may give you more rewards in certain categories like groceries or gas, this card has it covered when it comes to the bulk of your spending, and it also comes with a higher than average 18 month introductory 0% APR period. I personally have this card and use it all the time. Number three, the American Express Blue Cash Every Day, which I believe to be the best for your typical spender. The Blue Cash Every Day card for American Express currently offers an introductory APR of 0% on both purchases and balance transfers for 15 months and a sign up bonus of $150 with $1,000 spend within the first three months from opening the account. There is no annual fee and the balance transfer fee is the typical 3%. In terms of perks, you earn 3% cash back on your first $6,000 in purchases at US supermarkets per year and 2% cash back on all your purchases at US gas stations and select US department stores. You also earn 1% cash back on all other purchases, including spending at grocery stores beyond the first $6,000 per year. While not offering as long an introductory period as other cars, the Amex Blue Cash Every Day provides significant rewards on everyday spending categories with no annual fee, which is why I call it the best balance transfer card for typical spenders. Keep in mind that the Blue Cash Everyday sister card, the Blue Cash Preferred, offers even higher cash back rates but comes with an annual fee. Speaking of which, number four, the American Express Blue Cash Preferred, which gets the award for the highest sign-up bonus. You will get a sign-up bonus of $250 with $1,000 spend within the first three months for opening the account. In terms of the balance transfer offer, the card currently has an introductory APR of 0% on both purchases and balance transfers for 12 months. There is a $95 annual fee and the balance transfer fee is 3%. In terms of rewards, you earn 6% cash back on your first $6,000 in purchases at US supermarkets per year, 6% back on select US streaming subscriptions, 3% back on transit purchases including Uber, Lyft, parking tolls and train fares, and 3% cash back on all your purchases at US gas stations. As is typical, you earn 1% cash back on all their purchases including spending at grocery stores beyond the first $6,000 per year. So yes, the 12 month introductory period is as short as they come, but the 6% cash back at US supermarkets is best in class, and that sign up bonus offer of $250 cash back on $1,000 spend within the first three months is super easy money. If you buy a lot of groceries and you commute a long ways and you don't need a balance transfer period of longer than 12 months, you will not regret this card. I personally have this one myself. 
Number five, the Capital One Saver One Cash Rewards credit card, which is the best for foodies because it gives you 3% cash back on dining and entertainment, as well as 2% cash back at grocery stores and 1% everywhere else. In terms of balance transfer, this card currently offers an introductory APR of 0% on both purchases and balance transfers for 15 months and a sign-up bonus of $150 with $500 spent within three months from opening the account. There is no annual fee and the balance transfer fee is 3%. So if you're a foodie, this just might be the card for you because a 3% cash back on dining and entertainment is the highest of any balance transfer card right now. And plus there's a $150 sign-up bonus and no annual fee. Number six, the Chase Freedom, which is the best balance transfer card for rotating category rewards. The Chase Freedom gives you 5% cash back on your first $1,500 in purchases made in quarterly rotated categories and 1% cash back on all other purchases, including spending on the rotating categories beyond $1,500 during the quarter. Examples of bonus 5% categories our grocery stores, gas stations, Uber, Lyft, restaurants, PayPal, Amazon, Target, and more. It just depends on the quarter. In terms of the balance transfer, the Chase Freedom currently offers an introductory APR of 0% on both purchases and balance transfers for 15 months and a sign-up bonus of $150 with $500 spend within three months from opening the account. There is no annual fee and the balance transfer fee is 3%. So yeah, the introductory APR period is a middle of the road 15 months, but earning 5% bonus cash back with no annual fee sure feels pretty good. Of course, you don't know a quarter's bonus categories until about two weeks before the quarter begins, so the chase freedom can be a bit unpredictable, but if all else fails, it also comes with a decent $150 sign-up bonus. Number seven, the Chase Freedom Unlimited, which is the best if you have a premium Chase card. It currently offers an introductory APR of 0% on both purchases and balance transfers for 15 months and a sign-up bonus of $150 with, you guessed it, $500 spent within the first three months from opening the account. There is no annual fee and the balance transfer fee is 3%. In terms of rewards, you earn an unlimited 1.5 points back on all purchases. This translates to 1.5% cash back if you redeem for a statement credit or direct deposit. However, if you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you are able to redeem points for travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards at 1.5 cents per point, making the rewards percentage on the Chase Freedom Unlimited essentially 2.25% on all purchases if you redeem for travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards. This is an extremely high unlimited rewards percentage on all purchases. So while the introductory APR period of 15 months is nothing to write home about, if you're big on travel and already have a premium Chase travel card like the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Freedom Unlimited is definitely worth a look. So there you have it, my seven top picks for balance transfer cards for 2020. Do you have any questions about how balance transfer cards work or about credit cards in general? Let me know in the comments and as always, be sure to spank that like button and subscribe to Money Done Right.